There's a lot of big news today. Tell us uh, how the game with Arkansas came about. Well, first of all, it's National Signing Day, so uh, very excited about uh, Coach Jones and his staff's effort to uh, cobble together a really outstanding class. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing uh, students and, and with the academic background and the athletic background that these students have um, are um, really high level and we're really excited about that. Um, as far as the uh, game itself that uh, we're playing in 2025, first and foremost I'd like to thank uh, Texas A&M for all, allowing us to move the game. Uh, we had the game scheduled as you know. Um, so that was really, uh, I mean, really commendable on their part. And, uh, you know, we had to go find another game for them, and we did. And the team that, and I'm not, it's not my place to tell who the new opponent is, but the team that took the, uh, the game, I'd also appreciate them too. I won't say who it is right now. Um, and then, um, you know, um, obviously appreciate uh, Hunter's um, decision to uh, play us in, in this game and, and giving their student athletes, their football players, their campus community an exciting opportunity to play in front of a, a, a really, um, you know, exciting atmosphere. Terry, this is something you've been working to make happen for quite some time. What does it mean to have it kind of cross the finish line? Well, look, I, I've always tried to make a lot of the regional matchups happen. Um, you know, I, I think it wasn't the end-all, be-all whether we played this game or not. I mean, we've talked about that. I've been uh, on record saying that. Um, you know, in this particular time, it, it fits in well. They had a need. Um, you know, um, it would give us another game in the state, and we will have seven games that year in the state of Arkansas, which is really cool um, for our fans as well. And I mean, football is meant to be played in front of people. And uh, whenever you can give your student athletes, your football players, uh, the, the, to maximize uh, attendance um, for their games that they compete in, uh, that's what we wanted to do. And I, I believe Hunter uh, agreed with that as well. So, um, you, know, um, I, you know, it's one of those things where when he came on board, we started talking about it then. And, um, you know, he was the former AD at University of Houston, and he understood that, you know, he had some challenges with some of the teams in his league, or in his state that didn't play, and I think he, he agreed that, um, you know, it, it would be a good opportunity for his student athletes to play in front of an exciting, exciting atmosphere, and of course, we already had the policy of playing in-state teams, and, and we did it, and I think we've played, by the time the 2025 rolls around, we'll have played uh, in-state teams seven times over a 13-year period. And so, um, you know, it doesn't change. I think, again, I, we played Pine Bluff, we played uh, Central Arkansas, and, you know, gives everybody an opportunity to play in front of the exciting atmosphere. Now, this is the first time, uh, you know, in, in program history for both of you guys that you guys are going to be playing each other. You know, what did that conversation look like, uh, you know, especially, you know, for years this has been talked about, you know, now that this is happening, you know, what, what led to that conversation well, we've had, right now? We've had conversations about, you know, they're wanting to play more SEC games uh, in Fayetteville, which I completely understand. It was something I thought when I first came to the state, I was surprised when they were playing as many SEC games in, in Little Rock because obviously it's a fantastic league and a very competitive and you want to play as many uh, games at your home site as possible. Um, so, you know, I said, look, you know, if, if it ever comes about, you want to play a game and we've talked about it since he's been on, on board, uh, Hunter, since Hunter's been on board, let, you know, let's, let, let us fill one of your Little Rocks slots and, and uh, when you're ready to do it, you know, we'll, we'll see if it fits and this particular time I made a call and we already had a game scheduled and I called and or he called me first, and then I called A&M to see if that's something they'd be willing to do. And if they didn't, then we were going to be playing A&M. So um, they said they would help us out. And I know their AD uh, pretty well as well, uh, Ross Bjork. And uh, um, so, uh, you know, that's how, that's how it all got started. And we made it happen. Gotcha. So, and once he made the decision uh, to pull the trigger on the game, it took about a week and a half, you know, to get everything worked out. So, when was the... Uh, you rescheduled the A&M game for a later date? Yeah, we're looking at probably 27. Yeah, so, um, and um, as of right now, you know. 
So. Your non-conference schedule that year is going to have Iowa State here. Yeah, we'll have Iowa State here. Um, that that year we're not. That's one of the years we're not playing Memphis. Um, so we actually could go on the road for a group of five school, and then we'll have an FCS. So we'll um, we haven't scheduled that yet, but we'll have an FCS at home. And we'll have Iowa State at home. We'll have uh, Arkansas and Little Rock, and uh, then we'll uh, look for a, a, a team and probably another peer institution on the road. Now I've had some that said they would they prefer to start at our place, so that's a possibility. You could have. Uh, seven, you know, excuse me, eight games in the state of Arkansas that year. Just it, it just all depends on how it works out. So. Playing in Little Rock, is that something that... Eight out of 12 is not bad, huh? Of all your games in <laughs> Arkansas? That'd be pretty fun. I, I, it, would, it would hurt us on the back end of that, as far, trying to schedule on the back end, but it would be, it'd be cool that one year. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, man, that's what happened to you, you know. <laughs> Listen, man, I play one to me downs without a helmet. I forget things all the time. <laughs> You're asking about Little Rock. Yeah, yeah. Is Little Rock part of your plans in, for the future or other than this game, or is that just something no, that's you know, just it? We, it's, like we, it's like I told the, uh, our Chuck Welsh in Little Rock, and I told the governor. Um, Governor Ed Hutchison, um, you know, if it, if it was a seventh game, it makes sense, and uh, you know, but to take, uh, you know, one of our six games away from Jonesboro and the merchants and the community and the, the economic impact it makes, and and to the season ticket holders, then you know, it'd have to be a really uh, special deal that we would have to, um, you know, make sure that our uh, our most ardent supporters and our ticket holders and our donors and our premium seat holders would uh, would be on board with that, which I just don't see taking any of our six home games away. I mean, you know, prior to us being here in 12, we only had six games uh, three times at home since I played here, since I walked off the field in 1991. So the fact that we've really focused on getting six home games a year you know, so half your half your games are at home every year is really important. I think that's why you've you've really seen um, our you know prior to this year our records being better as well. You know, there's there's clearly an advantage when you play at home. Also, what this means to longtime fans who you know probably might not have even expected to see this now. Um, you know, it's hope they enjoy it. <laughs> you know, so I think it'll be fun. Um, I, you know, I, I really kind of, nostalgia for me is the former players at both institutions that have been friends over the years. And, you know, me playing, being a former player here and knowing people that played at the University of Arkansas over the years, and they were always 100% on board. Every, both schools, former athletes, former football players especially, were always 100% on board. I've never heard, I have never heard, I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but I've never heard anybody say that played at the University of Arkansas or played at Arkansas State that didn't want to play each other. Because you know why? Because players like to play in front of exciting opportunities, especially exciting atmospheres. So the fact that, uh, um, you know, some of the guys that have been in this state live around here, around the country, that get to see this game happen is really, to me, probably the best part of it all. Plus, it'll be fun. Being, being in Little Rock, it'll be fun, and, and you know these current, you know, the current student athletes on both teams right now will probably, you know, not be able to play in this game unless they get some waivers or some extra years, depending on you know. And so, you know, it is. It's, it's a while, and it's just the best we could do to work it out. And, and uh, uh, we tried to work it out a little earlier, but couldn't do it um, just based on our schedule. So, 25, get this one. Any ideas that there might be more down the line? Now we've talked about it. I just, you know, I think we just wanted to get this one up and running and then move on from there. So, I mean, we, you know, we're real, I'm real excited about our schedule. I mean, you know, we have always focused on, uh, you know, the teams that we play, giving our student athletes a great atmosphere to participate in. You know, next year we play 
uh, at Washington. The following year, we get to play at Ohio State. The following year, we get to play at Oklahoma. The following year, we get to play uh, in uh, at Michigan. And then the, the year after that, they get students at our campus get to play in the center part of the Arkansas, the state of Arkansas, in front of a game that's never happened before. So you know what? That's the focus is giving opportunities, uh, giving our students the best opportunities uh, to enjoy and to choose to enjoy the best experiences possible. You've got baseball later this uh, spring over yep. there against Arkansas. Men's, women's basketball, where is it? Women's basketball, is there a game scheduled? I think so next year, yeah. You know, it's just, again, another regional matchup. It's nice when you can play games locally, you know, just like we play Ole Miss and, and uh, you know, just anytime you can play regional matchups, it's nice. I mean, yeah, it's good. Is there a men's basketball game scheduled right now? Uh, they're working on it. We try, uh, they, I think they called, their basketball office called us uh, a couple days or the week before we already had two games scheduled uh, and see if we could we could have worked it out because the, they had some COVID issues. We just, we already had two games scheduled. We were not, we were, I'm not going to cancel a contract on somebody, um, you know, just because someone has an opening. So, uh, you know, uh, so we tried to work it out. It just didn't work out this year. What about the financial aspect of this game day game guarantee? That's well, I think it's, I, I think it's a great opportunity for, uh, for our Rebels Foundation, our, our university, to uh, develop really um, aggressive uh, loyalty opportunities for uh, season tickets and donors and donations and priority points. And is I, I, I do know that um, you know in order to get it, how you're going to be able to get a ticket, you got to be it's going to be based on this year's season ticket package. It starts now today. You know, every season ticket, every donation you made will go into a uh, priority point, and that's how people will be able to uh, purchase their tickets. It will not be part of the uh, season ticket package. It will be separate. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I think we have an opportunity to um, generate a uh, good amount of money. And I wouldn't have, if, if I didn't believe that, um, if I didn't believe in our, our, our fans, and if I didn't believe in then we wouldn't have uh, agreed to do it the way we did it. We did, we did it a little differently than what we're usually used to, as you know. Uh, we got tickets and uh, cash guarantee versus uh, um, just a straight up uh, guarantee. So the tickets that you have yeah. to sell, that is money for you? Yes. Yeah, it's, okay. a, it's a, yeah. yeah. 10,000 tickets we get, and uh, it's part of, well, that's part of our pay. That's what I, I preferred it that way. Has anybody else kind of offered you something like that? I guess there might not be a, a rare I, situation I, yeah, where you'd I, have that many come. Yeah, but that's right. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm sure that other schools would have offered those if we wanted it, but it, I'd rather take the cash. And when you're playing Alabama or Georgia, I don't know if we, if we would have that many people traveling for those, especially during that time of year. You know, a lot of stuff, families got a lot of things going on with little leagues and all kinds of uh, different fall activities they have. Uh, this particular uh, weekend uh, that we're talking about in Arkansas, playing Arkansas, it's the weekend after Labor Day. So I was excited that it wasn't going to be a Labor Day weekend so people wouldn't have to choose or whether they're going to do family activities. It's the weekend after, so it could be a two-day event. I think it's going to be a fantastic day for the city of Little Rock, uh, the economic value of people traveling all over the state. Um, and. Um, filling hotel rooms, restaurants, and bars, and all kinds of stuff. So I think it'll be, be fun. How much is the guarantee? The guarantee is $900,000, but I get 10,000 tickets with that. Yeah, and so it's uh Would that be the same price as the other tickets in the stadium, or do you, do you, do you well, set we the ticket price? We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll work, I'll work on that with Hunter. Yeah, with Hunter. Or, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> if we're both here, then whoever the people will be. <laughs> so... Uh, uh, yeah, they'll, they'll agree on it. There's ways you can do it. It's part of our pay, so um, you know I'm, I'm thinking it'll be a, it'll be a good price. It'll be it'll be equivalent to a concert type thing. You know, I think it's a one time. As of today, it's a one time event, and uh, and I think it's a special ticket, and um, it's an opportunity for people to really uh, purchase something that's you know 
history in the making. That's basically almost 20% of the stadium. Well, they, what is it, 40, yes. 40 52? 54, 50, okay, 54, yeah. You're almost at 20%. Yeah. Yeah. So, appreciate it. And you know what? And they'll make money off our fans, too, because well, we'll sell out. And, you know, we'll, we'll take care of some of our students, and we'll take care of our players' parents with those tickets. And, um, and we'll end up buying, people will buy. And the, look, it's like, you know, it's like Hunter and I talked about. They'll make, you know, the teams that they're playing, other teams in the group of five that they've been playing, I mean, the value that we bring to the tables, oh, okay. you know, I mean, as far as ticket sales goes, um, is, is significant. So. All right, we got it. So you got it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There'll be 54,000 people in here. <laughs>